Elon Musk's 42,000 Starlink satellites, the revolutionary technology that China fears. Starlink is a globe-encircling network of internet-beaming satellites trying to get you online no matter where you are. Over the next few decades, Elon Musk hopes to send 42,000 satellites to space, 15 times the number of operational satellites in orbit today. It's part of Starlink, the expansive constellation from Musk and SpaceX that hopes to bring the world low latency see high-speed internet, promising no more buffering and nearly instantaneous internet in every corner of the world. But experts worry that it may come at a hefty cost for space exploration. Nearly half of the world's population needs access to the internet because most internet options require an extensive track of costly underground cables leaving many rural locations offline. And while satellite internet can reach those areas, Elon Musk's Starlink project is aimed at providing global satellite-based internet connectivity. The project aims to launch thousands of small, low-cost satellites into low Earth orbit, which will work together to provide internet access to users on the ground. The total number of satellites planned for the project is around 42,000. The Starlink project is considered to be revolutionary because it has the potential to provide high-speed internet access to people in remote and underserved areas, including rural communities, developing countries, and areas affected by natural disasters. It could also also provide internet access to mobile platforms such as aircraft, ships, and vehicles. The Starlink satellites are designed to operate at a low altitude which reduces latency and improves connectivity. They are also equipped with advanced technology such as laser communication links which can provide even faster data transfer speeds. However, the project has also faced some criticism and concerns. Some experts have raised concerns about the potential impact of so many satellites on the space environment such as increased space debris and collisions. Others have raised concerns about the potential impact of the project on astronomy as the bright satellites can interfere with astronomical observations. Despite these concerns, the Starlink project is considered to be a significant step forward in providing global internet connectivity, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we access the internet. That distance means the satellite can reach places that cables can't. But since that one satellite is intended to serve many people, its data capacity could be improved, limiting connection speeds, and that signal has to travel a long way, creating a lot of lag. This is where Elon Musk and SpaceX come in. Starlink is a constellation of satellites created by SpaceX with the aim of launching satellite internet coverage that will one day span the entire globe. In 2021, the number of satellites launched by SpaceX reached more than 2,000, which will communicate with ground-based transceivers. Since the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the world's richest man has activated the satellites above Ukraine to grant Kyiv internet access as Russia attempts to block off all communications. An article on China Military Online, the official news website affiliated with the Central Military Commission CMC, said SpaceX has decided to increase the number of Starlink satellites from 12,000 to 42,000, the program's unchecked expansion and the company's ambition to use it for military purposes should put the international community on high alert. Elon Musk has said he's trying to grab a small percentage of a trillion dollar a year telecommunications industry worldwide. If SpaceX can pull this off, the company could net about 30 to 50 billion dollars annually. Musk and SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell said that much money could single-handedly fund the development of Starlink, Starship, and SpaceX's Mars launch infrastructure. As of early October, SpaceX has launched more than 700 satellites into orbit, planning to release 12,000 over the next five years, half by the end of 2024. And Musk wants to add another 30,000 to 42,000 satellites circling Earth. These satellites will also be much closer, anywhere from 200 to 400 miles above the planet in low Earth orbit. This reduces the connection delay that is found with the traditional Internet satellites. 
Once in orbit, these Starlink satellites will constantly be moving, so many are necessary. The problem is that you have to have many satellites orbiting to compensate for the fact that you can't stay in one spot above the Earth because you need several satellites overhead at one time to cover many users. Every satellite will connect with several users via laser beams creating something like the network's backbone. And to bring this internet into your home, you'll need to get a pizza-sized antenna. This phased array antenna can aim its beam at whatever satellite is overhead, which will maintain an internet signal in your home. But this scheme has problems. Starlink satellites are bright. They reflect the sunlight and shine it back towards Earth so they look like bright moving stars. As incredible as it may look, that comes with problems. While the primary objective of Starlink has been to give internet connectivity everywhere in the world, the satellites have been utilized for certain military activities in Ukraine in recent months. Eros Edvika, a Ukrainian Army Specialist Air Reconnaissance Unit, has stated that it employed Starlink satellites to enable its strikes on sleeping Russian tank operators. According to a military activation specialist, Ukrainian troops have been connecting to Mr. Musk's satellite network to allow their equipment to lock into enemy targets. If we employ a drone with thermal vision at night, he explained, the drone must connect to the artillery person through Starlink and produce targets target acquisition. Starlink satellites are most visible in the night sky right before dawn and right after dusk, which is the exact time that astronomers are hunting for near-Earth objects or asteroids, things that could hit the Earth and possibly harm us. And as more satellites go up, so does the likelihood that they'll interfere with the astronomers' views. Mosher, if Starlink continues to be a problem for these types of sky surveys, we may have less notice than we want to detect a near-Earth object, wart it, and prevent it from hitting Earth. Beyond detecting deadly asteroids, the wall of satellites could also obstruct the search for new planets or even black holes. SpaceX realized it had to do something, and it did. It created what's called a dark sat, which is a satellite that has all of its shiny parts coated in a very black, dark material. It also tried adding visors to shield those shiny parts from the ground. But unless the satellites are cloaked like a spaceship in Star Trek technology that does not exist, none of this will entirely solve the problem. And even if it did, there's a much bigger issue. There's a concern about space debris because when you have so many satellites in the closest, tightest, densest orbits around the Earth, there's a higher chance that those satellites could collide with each other or with other satellites. Those crashes could create clouds of debris that can orbit the Earth for years, decades, or even centuries. And that debris can then disable or cause other satellites to crash into each other, creating even more waste. And this problem spirals out of control, an effect called the Kessler Syndrome. And if we reach that, then essentially space is too unsafe to access. To be clear, the risk of a runaway Kessler Syndrome is shallow, but the potential potential impacts of that are so high that scientists are working very hard to prevent such an event from happening. SpaceX has said its satellites can automatically move out of the way to avoid collisions. But dozens of SpaceX satellites are already disabled and can't move, posing a potential threat. And those concerned with SpaceX's plans are lobbying the FCC to rein in the company and strictly regulate low Earth orbit more. And that could make it more expensive and more complex to deploy the planned 42,000 satellites. But it doesn't stop at Starlink. Amazon's Cooper project, OneWeb, China's Hong Yan, and others are looking to challenge SpaceX by launching their global networks of hundreds or thousands of satellites. If they all got their way with little to no regulation, we could end up with 100,000 satellites encasing our planet within the next 10 years, dramatically increasing the risk of blocking off space for everyone. Elon Musk recently revealed details about how people will access Starlink. It'll be straightforward and enable access to relatively free global internet from anywhere on the planet. Starlink Terminal has motors to self-adjust optimal angles to view the sky. Instructions are simple, plug in socket and point at the sky. These instructions work in either order. No training is required. Elon Musk. What this means is that anyone can access the internet from anywhere. Chinese 
citizens will be able to access Google and information about Tiananmen Square. Russian citizens can see external analysis of Putin's financial dealings if even Russia blocks outside sources. Indian protesters can't be cut off from the internet. Of course, governments will make the Starlink terminal illegal, but that in itself will be a victory. Censorship works best when it's invisible, when people don't know that there is alternate information or other understandings of reality. Chinese teenage exchange students at a relative's house last year, for example, had never heard of Tiananmen Square and refused to believe stories that they felt painted China negatively. But when a device to connect to the outside world becomes contraband, the glass walls become opaque. People realize that walls have been erected to prevent them from seeing other opinions. And that is at least one step to maintaining a free, open, and accessible internet globally, which should help combat fake news, propaganda, and information deprivation aimed at controlling populations. What do you think about Elon Musk's Starlink satellites? Let us know in the comments. And that's all for today's video. Make sure you hit that bell icon for upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching.